Uh, we're, we're here at Reflect Tech right now, and uh, we're speaking with... Mike DeGrazia. And Mike, what do you do here? I'm the Director of Operations for Reflect Tech. Okay. And what does Reflect Tech do? Reflect Tech is a highly reflective mirror film, a polymer-based mirror film, that can be laid onto a substrate like aluminum, curved into a shape, and perform the function of glass mirrors but without breakage, without some of the issues of transportation. A 17, uh, 1,500 square foot roll fits in a box I can carry onto the airplane, 70 pounds or less. If you look at the brochure, you can see that the reflectance is very high, 94% across the solar spectrum. Yes. So it, it's very reflective. You can see a roll behind me here. This is just a portion of a roll. They come in sizes 48, 59, and 60 inch wide widths, 300 foot, 400 foot lengths, up to a thousand meter length. Um, we're made available because of a collaboration between the owner, Randy G, and uh, National Renewable Energy Laboratories. Skyfield now owns Reflect Tech and uses their uh, technology on their trough systems. And you can see some nice pictures of their trough systems. Uh, I was going to say on a oh, that's okay. screen here. Okay. Well, we, we've seen the trough systems over at their booth. It looks pretty impressive. I wasn't aware that is a film like this being applied. What is the durability of this film and the elements? Well, it's withstood a 10-year equivalent test through the AccuVex test, which is a very harsh test where they concentrate the, the uh, sunlight seven to eight times and uh, the 10-year equivalent test is pretty much a flat line in terms of the reflectance. It actually seems to go up a little bit. Um, it's been through tests, the solar simulator tests at National Renewable Energy Laboratories. It's been immersion tested underwater 60 days with no delamination. Um, so it's been through the battery of tests. The failure modes that you're concerned about, any reflective technology, mirror glass included, is corrosion due to ultraviolet radiation and moisture, delamination, tunneling, that sort of thing. This has been proven to be robust against those failure modes. Now, is this a brand new technology that kind of creates a whole new segment? You could say that. It's a brand new technology that is suited for the outdoors. Um, other technologies, other film technologies didn't perform so well in the past. And so we've taken the knowledge of the failure modes of those basically indoor lighting products and transform them into something that will work for CSP. Now we, we just came from some keynotes and they talked about flexibility and generating electricity. It seems like this would be very flexible and very cost efficient. Could you speak to those two factors? Well exactly. You don't need to invest in the equipment required to mold glass for example. Yes. You can put this onto a flat substrate and take it to a machine shop that has bending equipment with rubberized rollers and then bend it into angle shapes for concentrating photovoltaics or trough shapes for concentrating solar power or funny shapes if you want to be a sculptor or jewelry. <laughs> what kind of a temperature will this operate at? before it starts delaminating them? Very good question. <clears throat> These applications outdoors uh, would be up to 139 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the hottest recorded temperature on Earth. That's approximately 60 degrees centigrade. At 60 degrees centigrade, we predict that this will last for 10, 20, or more years. One last question. Is this being produced overseas, or are you the only game in town right now? We're the only game in town right now. It's made in the United States. There are some small components that come from other places, but it's all assembled here. The main components are here. 90% okay. uh, of the content, more than that, is done here. Are you actively exporting this product right now? We are selling to companies that want to buy it. Companies in 20 or 30 different countries are buying it from us. That's terrific. Wish you the best of luck in your endeavors. Thank you very much. Thank you.